Conference win, how much of a momentum boost is this going into this long road trip? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, just uh, obviously not having our best hockey here of late, but you know, you know, winning two in a row really helps. Um, obviously, going against one of the hottest teams in the league, if not the hottest. So, you know, I think for us, uh, you know, just have a good start uh, of the road trip and you know, get it going. You guys have talked about improving your defensive play as of late. The last couple of games, it's really been impressive. How has what changes you guys make, and what are you kind of hoping to carry over? Uh, just keeping it simple. Um, I think we really focused on our start last night, and it really uh, showed. Um, you know, first five minutes, just getting pucks deep, keeping it simple, and everyone on the same page. I think it helps a lot in the sense it gets everyone going in a in a good mindset. In the sense that you know, just keep it simple and let the game come to us. You've taken on a big role in the power play with this team this season. Um, for you, what's worked and what areas have the power play and overall have looked good for you guys? Yeah, we have a lot of guys who can play the power play and uh, a lot of interchangeable parts. Uh, you know, guys being injured and whatnot, and um, guys playing on different units. But you know, I think for us, it's just the the way we have chemistry with everyone um, quick puck movement um, see our plays um, you know little things like that just keep that make a good power play you know just getting pucks to the net and you know using our strengths and last one for me the intensity level obviously raises in these games this late in the season do you guys feel that on the ice and how can you match that intensity yeah for team? sure I mean like last night it was definitely a playoff like game um, you know I, every game you know for the rest of the season is gonna feel like that and you know it's good for you know leading into playoffs Thanks. Getting some penalty kill time as well. I'm curious from your perspective what you feel like you've done to sort of earn some trust with the coaching staff here straight away. Uh, I think most of it is my defensive play. Uh, I feel like I develop a lot now during the yeah two years I've been here. Uh, yeah, I feel like everything is just kind of coming together. It takes a couple of games to get into the speed, to get into the physicality, but. Yeah, they helped me a lot here. Is there anything in particular within that defensive play that you feel like you've improved upon or like shown off in particular during these last couple of games? Uh, just the reads, I feel like. Uh, just, of course, you have to see who you play against, if it's quick, if it's big. Uh, it's, it's a lot of timing and the different players, so yeah, it's, it's different. And what has it been like to join this team at such a kind of critical juncture in the season to be kind of thrown right into that mix at this level? Uh, of course it's special, but it's everybody here is hunting for playoffs and yeah, it's just come along and yeah, go with the team, I guess. it's uh, So far, it's been a good ride. What's your comfort and confidence level at right now? I know it's only been a couple of games you've had NHL experience before, but what, how are you feeling right now at this point? Uh, I feel good. Uh, I feel, uh, of course, some small things can uh, I can get a little bit more comfortable in, but I feel like it's coming, you know? I feel like it's... Uh, I know what I have to work on. I know what I have to do to, to play a good hockey game. Uh, of course, everything ain't gonna come right away. It's, uh, it's hard to do, but yeah, uh, it's just get those reps in. Get one of the team's biggest strengths this season from a lot of the guys has just been the chemistry and the camaraderie. How have you seen that play out in your limited time here? Uh, I feel like it's, it's a good good group. Uh, it's good chemistry. It's last, last game we really felt it and uh, yeah, I feel like we're going in the right direction. Sort of on that subject, what do you feel like has worked about your pairing with Jeff so far and how has he helped you adapt to the NHL this last couple of years? No, of course, he's a veteran. He's been in the league for many years. And I ask him a lot of a lot of questions and yeah, he, he always got the answer for them. And yeah, I feel like we have a good chemistry when we're out there playing and that's uh, something we're going to take and build on now this couple of games forward here. The intensity level too, one last one for me, the intensity level of these games, how much do you guys sense that and how much can you build off that intensity during those games? Because it, it's high stakes hockey right now. Yeah, it's, uh, of course the intensity was up a level the last game uh, from the previous game that I played and I think it's only going to ramp up. Nashville is a good team, they 14 points streak or something like that and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's the NHL you have to learn, and that's why I'm going to go out and do my best. Thanks. Thanks. He actually sent me a legit care package, which was really cool. It's this t-shirt. He asked what size. 
I said large. Uh, apparently, he read medium on, on the text. <laughs> Uh, but it was really cool. He sent a sweatshirt. He sent a T-shirt. He actually sent some Detroit, uh, basically welcome to Detroit package, which I thought was a huge uh, gesture. And he actually said you got to wear the sweatshirt sometime. I actually looked for it this morning. I think it fell victim to one of the teenagers snagging it. Uh, I couldn't find it, but I grabbed a T-shirt. Perfect timing. Um, so I, I appreciated that gesture, being new into this town, and obviously that was pretty cool last night. That was last season that he sent you that? Yep. What did you say about your swing? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, so I had golfed with the Michigan State golf coach. So I think word was getting around on my golf swing. And I don't know, it, it, was, it, it ran around social media. I had a bunch of people texting me. And he kind of, uh, I wouldn't say apologize, but um, I think my golf swing's just fine. Uh, but he took, a, he took a crack at it. And I think his guilt led him into a pretty big care package. Ended up... Uh, on my doorstep. How's your basketball pool doing? I picked Oakland um, just because it was a family pool and I don't care. Um, and it hit. I went kind of local flavors and uh, some upsets. So it's doing well now, but I don't know if it's going to last. Did you peek at the scoreboard last? Because that was right if you guys. Peeked, Absolutely. It was, it was cool. How can you not see it? The energy it brought in the building, they kept showing it. Then they started teasing with it, which was, I thought, pretty smart whoever was doing it like they they didn't put the score up but they put some highlights and they put the score up and uh, you know just you're kind of watching it you know really think if they could pull it off uh, it was pretty cool like you were involved at Denver too I mean this time of year those tournaments for hockey, of course basketball, one and done that's got to yeah, be a yeah. lot it's of it's tough and it was it, I, in college it stung it's just it's one and done when you're on the bad end of it and it's like, you know, now you're like, when's the next game? You know, it's first one to four. Uh, so it's, it's a tough go, and obviously they were on the good side of it. Dylan, um, he didn't skate. Yeah, I mentioned he, I think he's probably um, fell under what's going around the room right there. So it's nothing to do with him, uh, with his previous lower body injury. So he will be available for us tomorrow. Longest road trip of the season at a pivotal stretch of the season. Mentally, how are you approaching heading into this? Yeah, trip? I know it sounds like a cliche, but this not only is it a long road trip, the caliber of opponent on the road trip, and we're in survival mode. We got to try to eat every point possible, and we have an opportunity tomorrow um, against a team that hasn't given up much many points. So that'll be a really, really good challenge for us. They start from the net out. Obviously, their goaltending is getting back to that world-class form that he has shown uh, in the past. I think it brings confidence to the group. And then they're clicking in all areas. You know, their superstars are playing like superstars. Their checkers are checking. Uh, their offense is playing well. Their special teams. Um, it's been pretty impressive to watch. I like their makeup. Um, Andrew Burnett was actually a manager of mine when I was in the American Hockey League. You know, really good hockey guy, uh, good friend. Um, I've always been a fan of him and his approach, and I'm not surprised the success they're having. He coached against O'Reilly for many years now. Are you surprised at all that he's been able to sustain and even, I think, took a step forward this year from where he's been at this age? Who's that? O'Reilly. Oh, no, of course not. He, but he's a gamer, um, and he's just he's smart and um, he does a lot of little things. Um, he plays winning hockey, and that he can drive. And I, I like what they did in this off season. I was fortunate enough to have Luke Shen um, in Tampa. Won two Stanley Cups with Luke, and those 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 guys just have something about them. What they bring in the team aspect uh, on the ice, away from the rink, and obviously it's peaking there. You expect to have Wallman available. No, Wallman still sold the lower body. Um, he wasn't able to skate again today. So um, we'll see where he's at, hopefully maybe by Tuesday. How about Huso? No, Huso, same thing. Uh, I think the feel with Huso is maybe to get a conditioning stint, very similar to last time. But I think he's got to get to a spot where he's ready for that. He's just not there yet. With Simon playing almost 20 minutes last night, including some PK time, what has he done to earn your trust right away in this latest call-up? Uh, defending well. Um, he's, he's managed the game very well. Um, he's not found himself in much trouble. Uh, but he's also brought some physicality 
to his game, which is good at being his size too. The long stick, obviously he made some plays defensively with the long stick, but he kept a couple plays offensively alive with his long stick that ended up in the back of their net 20, 30 seconds later. So, um, you know, hopefully he can keep building his game, but a really good start two games into it. Jake, what's the, the, the sense of appreciation for what you guys are on the cusp of doing? I mean, it's been a hard rebuild for this franchise in, you know, less than four weeks left now. Yeah. And you guys are... Have, have, your way right back up across the well the part of I think the growth is being in this position we just haven't been here and there's such growth in games like last night that was an intense game you could feel it in your gut uh, you can feel it uh, in the crowd um, you can feel it first period from both teams I think there's just growth in being in those situations uh, we wanted to be battling for it as late as possible and now we're here and hopefully we can continue to stay in the fight Jared, can we talk a lot about what some of the young players are going to learn from these types of games late in the season. But this is your first NHL head coaching job. Obviously, you have a lot of experience in Tampa. Yep. But is there anything you're learning right now from playing in these games down the stretch? No, just probably uh, reemphasizing those things of staying in the moment, living in the moment. You're going to run these these highs and lows. It's how you handle them. And you got to give the group a ton of credit. They've, they've done a pretty good job with it. Um, I mean, we've won three of our last four after, obviously, a very tough stretch. Um, so, yeah, I just think the moment, um, control the things you can control. And right now it's our next game against a really good opponent. Where are you going start? with? Uh, Alex Lyon. I just think it's an opportunity to get Alex back in net. James has played three of his last four. Um, and it's just, it just uh, feels right to give uh, Alex another crack here. Do you think there was something in his technique or – is it just the overwork, maybe? Probably. Or? I think there's this is a, a legit rest for him, hmm. where you know he hasn't seen the net uh, before a week, uh, Sunday against Pittsburgh. Um, so I think there's a little reset. Probably got the overplaying him for sure. He's, he's never taken that workload in his entire career uh, hmm. at this level. Um, so um, and again, really appreciate. Full con James, what he's given us, and it's just just a huge battle. Um, I think he represented our team last night. A lot of grit in his game, um, and found a way to win. I just want to go back to the t-shirt for a second. Was this before, right before the summer you got here? No, there's the summer between year one and two. Oh, we okay. actually lived in the same uh, mm -hmm. condo complex. Okay. And he actually was my uh, when I moved to the suburbs. He was my package picker upper. Uh, so <laughs> it's funny world how things happen. Uh, and again, he sent like a couple Detroit t-shirts. Uh, he sent a bottle of Detroit made liquor. Uh, it was actually a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool of him. And it's, it's pretty neat. You, know, you can return the favor a little bit. Uh, pretty exciting what they did last night. What's Detroit made liquor? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a big, like it's in the cupboard. I might have to go back to it. So I'm an IPA red wine guy. So, yes.